Okay, today's theme is uh, ABC of logical thinking. Logical thinking. So today's lecture consists of the 15 slides and several questions uh, for um, working session for you. So I will be very happy if you enjoy the step-by-step -step lesson about the ABC of logical thinking. Okay, let's get started. And first, let me introduce about the, the trigger of the making the lecture. Why did I uh, come up with this lecture? Uh, why I want to deliver this lecture to you? So please remember the previous lecture by Chibasan. Uh, we got the set uh, of the uh, feedback session. Uh, we got the seminar answer about the communication barriers, like uh, language, and position and culture. And I found that, oh, there is nothing to uh, related to the, the logical thinking world. Logical thinking. Because it is said that the think, uh, by thinking about things logically, uh, you will be able to think about things on, others, uh, on, on other people's position or viewpoint. And it is said that by thinking about things logically, uh, you will be able to understand the structure of other people's thoughts and ideas. And, and also it is said that thinking about things logically, uh, you will be able to be considerate of other people's feeling with sympathy and respect. So, in conclusion, by, think, uh, by thinking about things logically, you will be able to lessen the communication barriers with uh, mutual respect, uh, thoughtfulness, and the better communication created by logical thinking. So this is the trigger for me to uh, create this lecture to you. Uh, I think that logical thinking is worth uh, to study for us. So uh, let us confirm today's goal. First, by learning the ABC of logical thinking, you will be able to understand the advantages of logical thinking. And then, by understanding the advantage of logical thinking, you will be able to analyze whether your idea is logical or not. And then, you'll be able to improve your idea. This is our today's goal. Okay. And to understand uh, the, the meaning of logical thinking clearly, uh, let's think about what is the opposite meaning of logical. Do you have any idea? What is the opposite meaning of the logical? Logical thinking. Maybe this idea can support you to understand the logical thinking more. Do you have any idea? Tsiba-san, do you have any idea? No idea? I think that uh, the opposite word is emotional. Emotional. Yeah, logical thinking. And the opposite word is emotional thinking. And let's think about more about uh, the words related to the logical thinking. Uh, how, how, how can I say the words uh, to support the meaning of the logical thinking? I think the objective, objective thinking also related a relevant word to the logical thinking. And the opposite word is subjective, subjective thinking. Do you have any idea? Why these two are related, logical and emotional? Because to think about the, the meaning, uh, opposite meaning of the logical, maybe it can help you to understand what is logical thinking, what is logical, the meaning of logical. Just only the word of the logical, it's a little difficult to understand what is a logical. So then I want you to think about the opposite word, 
opposite condition or opposite pattern, say the attitude of the logical circuit. Then the another one is factor-based thinking. I think the factor-based thinking is a relevant word of the logical thinking. And opposite word is self-opinion-based thinking. Just only self-opinion or factor-based. Is it okay? And finally, uh, understandable and uh, reasonable thinking for other people is also a relevant word of the logical thinking, I think. And opposite word is not understandable word, not a reasonable thinking for other people. Make sense? Can I have some example for what you call emotional? Example? Yeah. Do you want to deliver your idea? I want to ask you. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so based on just some uh, key terms, I think of one thing. So please consider about uh, the, being the lawyer. So if we are the lawyer, we may think of two things. One is the room, and the other one is the surrounding feeling. It can be emotion. So we can see two people. One is the rich, and the other one is the cool. So, if we think logically, we can think that uh, the pe that maybe the poor is break the rule or something, and the rich must be superior to that. But for emotional, we feel that he couldn't do that because he's too poor. How can he have the feeling, or how can he dare to do that? So to me, emotional is focused not on the rule. It is another way. We can say that if we are we focus about the feeling, so we feeling that this is right, but it is not correct. It is wrong. Because logical, it may be um, work parallelly with the mathematics. So to, to, to consider about something clearly, we can bring up with the mathematic way, calculation way. So this is logical, based on the science. But the way that we cannot prove through that, we can say that emotional. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> so in short, Emotion is something about our feeling. We believe that it is true or something like that. But we couldn't find the proof to show what we are doing. But logical, it is another way that people try to bring up some rule, some method, or anything that it can become the evident. Thank you very much, Mr. Roman. It's very helpful and uh, supportive opinion uh, to others. So the, my idea is uh, the logical thinking is how can I say the based the thinking based on the objective reason or the fact and the emotional means um, yes I remember my my grandfather said no reason why you did so bad <laughs> no reason this is an emotional reaction right why are you so angry no reason my my grandfather said. <laughs> Emotional, no reason, right? So I cannot understand why my girlfriend is angry now. But she said, no, no reason. I don't say anything, right? This is an emotional communication, not logical, and no solution. <laughs> I just say I'm so sorry, right? Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> So this is a short break. So it's emotional bad thing? No, no, I don't think so. As you know, our brain uh, are separated into the left side and right side. And the left side is uh, have the responsibility about the logic and the reason and analytic and blah, blah, blah. And right side brain has the responsibility for emotion and the passion and intuition and inspiration and dream, blah, blah, blah. And also, now I'm uh, addressing my lecture with my passion. I want you to deliver the importance of logical thinking. And my inspiration made me to create this lecture. So uh, the balance is important. Also, uh, if you want to uh, persuade someone, yeah, your passion is very important, right? 
but today's topic is logical thinking, uh, focused on the le left side brain. Okay. So to understand more about the uh, logical thinking, let's think about the word, uh, about the objective and subjective. Uh, as I said to you a, a while ago, uh, objective thinking is the, the, one of the relevant words of the logical thinking. So then you can see the both uh, thinking process, thinking approach, the yellow one and the red one. The yellow one, yellow thinking approach is objective thinking approach. <coughs> And red one is subjective thinking approach. But let's check one by one. First, yellow one. All human is sure to die. Make sense? Right? And then, I am a human. Make sense? I'm not dog. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm not dog. So, in conclusion, I am sure to die. Make sense? Right? Because all human is sure to die, and I am a human. Makes sense. So let's check the subjective thinking approach. I know a lot of people, and I don't know the people who live to be 100 years old. So all people cannot live to be 100 years old, because I know a lot of people. Is it, does it make sense? <coughs> does it make sense? How about you, Marisa? Make sense? <laughs> no idea? So, yes, it's clear. Uh, the red line, the thinking of course, is, uh, does not make sense. Right? Just only I know a lot of people. So conclusion is all people cannot live to be, uh, sorry, sorry. I don't know people who live to be 100 years old. So in conclusion is all people cannot do. Make sense, I don't make sense, right? So this thinking approach consists of the major premise and the minor premise and the conclusion. Major premise and minor premise support the conclusion. Right. But the yellow lines, conclusion, uh, yellow lines, how can I say that? Premise support the conclusion correctly. But red line, uh, red thinking approach, red card thinking approach is the premise, major premise and the minor premise is not support, does not support conclusion correctly, right? So this is a different point of the objective thinking approach and the subjective thinking approach. Logical thinking approach and the not logical thinking approach. So conclusion by the objective thinking approach can be acceptable beyond the diversity, like a culture, and the generation, and the language, and experience, right? In Cambodia, in Japan, I'm sure to die, because all human is sure to die, right? No debatable, no questionable, right? So conclusion by uh, objective thinking, logical thinking, is not debatable. Right? Or, uh, for other people, a different, a bit different culture, different generation, different language, and different experience. But the, uh, the conclusion by the non-logical thinking is mm, debatable. <laughs> right? Debatable. Questionable. Someone accept, but someone don't accept. Right. Okay, the point so far. The meaning of logical includes objective and factor-based and makes sense for other people. And the uh, conclusion by objective thinking approach could be acceptable 
beyond the language, culture, and generation, and experience. And subjective thinking approach has a risk to reach a wrong conclusion. Make sense? Make sense? Okay, so now we are on the half point of the, this lecture. Uh, I will give you uh, three questions for the training for the logical thinking. Okay, uh, this is a working session. Uh, this is a question one, number one. There is a tribe that is able to make sure to bring the raining by their ritual rain dance. Can you find the right premise to support it? Do you understand why? How on earth can they? Thinking a structure thinking approach is first the dancing for they are dancing for bringing rain and then it starts to rain the bottom uh, bottom on a square uh, bottom square is a premise and then upper square is a cause oh no, sorry effect this premise is enough this premise can support the conclusion. So we can find the other additional premise to support the conclusion, right? So I will give you one minute. Let's think about the answer. How can they bring the rain by their uh, ritual rain dance? Only dancing is not enough to bring the rain, right? Can you think about the... Uh, can you answer the question musically? You can find the answer to sufficient premise to support the conclusion. But maybe it's clear this premise is not enough. Okay, time is up. Someone can answer? Do you have any? No, no one. No one has answer. Okay. Special service. I will give you an answer. Keep dancing until it starts to rain. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense, right? They are dancing. If they are dancing for bringing rain, and if they keep dancing until it starts to rain, it starts to rain. Musically. <laughs> All right? Yeah, it's not rain. It's not rain for today, so that and until Yeah, keep dancing, keep dancing, keep dancing. I'll start dancing, they can say, oh, our Richard dancing can bring the rain, right? So everybody accept. Oh, that's true. <laughs> right? I think it might be and fall under some condition based on the track. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, not every time, every day. Do, do, do not too much think. <laughs> simply. Simply. Okay. So, okay, let's go to the next question. Ah, sorry. Uh, but this is what I want to say. Find sufficient premise which supports to conclusion. Okay. And next quiz is, I want to, I want you to answer by your intuition. So, I we will not uh, give you a one, 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 uh, one, uh, one minute, one minute, okay? The thinking time is only maybe 10 seconds. 10 seconds, okay, number two. How many nine can we sing from one to 100? Let's start to sing, 10 seconds. Okay, stop. 
Eleven. Eleven. Nine. 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 Ten. Ten. Nine. 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 So, what I want to say is, only intuitional thinking is not enough to find the right answer. So uh, I will uh, show you that intuition is only right brain. Okay. And final question. Next is final question. Final question. You can spend uh, much time to think. The chart shows sales performance. Can we say our company is very nice? The blue line is the sales performance for Sunrise. And that line is our competitor's sales performance. Now our sales performance is sharply increasing, and our competitor's sales performance is sharply decreasing. So from this premise, can we say our company is very nice? Our company is very nice, it's conclusion, right? Yes. So, uh, premises to support the conclusion is now we have 